Good afternoon from Groovy Eggs Farm. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday, August the 13th. Day 13 of August. Uh, what, 92, sunny, nice breeze. It's not bad in the shade, but uh, still definitely hot and sweaty today. I'm trying on my new headband. Yeah, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It works for a little bit, but then it they all fall on your glasses again. Uh, I got one project done today. Let's start off with that. Uh, one of my coops uh, needed some reinforcements. I had that string up there to keep uh, chickens from getting out because uh, some of them were that was back at the old place before I moved down here but now it was time to go ahead and close that off with a, a better solution than string um, yeah that's all I had when I was up there because yeah my tools were here and screws and yeah so I just now got around to it that'll keep the hens in and uh, if anything else uh, you know, uh, owls, whatever. That was a pretty big gap. Who knows what could have gotten in there at night. So now it is closed off. I wanted to do that. Okay, now, uh, well, yeah. Uh, I'm already exhausted. It's only like three o'clock. But I've been going to check these baby chicks all day long. Let's go check on the baby chicks and the broody hens. Yeah, the ones in the incubator, I ain't gotta worry about them. But I got uh, three broody hens and two batches of baby chicks. So let's go check on their situation. That is the broody whiting true blue mama. And I gave her three chicks last night. And I knew they would be falling out of the nest box. So this worked out exactly as I planned it. Baby chicks end up in here and they can't be running around all all the national forest so I can keep an eye on them then get some food and water then tonight I'll put them back in the nest box and I will add some more baby chicks what do you think you ready for a bundle of baby chicks I think there's five more in there I can I can let you adopt yeah these three she'll figure out how to get in the tub here in a minute because i'll pick her up and put her in there but these three are olive eggers they are a uh, black copper marons crossed with uh, white and true blue and the white and true blues were white so that's probably why one of them is white but the other two are black and then I got five other chicks in an incubator that are their back crosses. They are like these, if these were girls, bred back to a black copper bronze rooster again. So they won't all lay green eggs, but they'll lay darker greens. All right, let me see if I can corral your mama and stick her in there. And then you can spend the day together. How about that? There you go. You only pecked me once. And you and your three babies can spend the, the day in there. Well, and the night, too. I'll just sneak the other baby chicks under her. Um, actually, what I'll probably do is just pick them all up and take them into the little brooder coop. Yeah, I'll figure that out when I get to it. But they are cool for right now. Yeah. White and true blue mama. 
Is this the first? This you're the first time that I've let him raise baby chicks. I've had him go broody before, but uh, I wasn't in a position to let him hatch or raise baby chicks. So you'll be the first white and true blue I have that's raising baby chicks. Yeah. You keep all those other hens away from them. Yeah, you're going to be a good mom. There you go, little one. Crawl up in those feathers. Yeah. Alright, let's go check on the other broodies. Oh, I see a white one. I didn't see a white one before. There were two black ones, or dark ones. So now I know at least we got at least three. Good job, ladies. And none of them are out running around. Alright, I'll leave you alone until a half an hour from now. Yeah, pretty exciting. I can have uh, I can have broody hens raise two or three batches for me, because we'll see how many hatch under the two uh, broody buddies, and I might give them uh, give them more baby chicks that are in the incubators to raise. Also, we'll see what the number count is. Don't want to give them more than they can handle. But yeah, good deal. And the white and true blue, she's got three baby chicks. I'll give her at least five more tonight, and then move her into a brooder and. Yeah, things are going, things are going uh, pretty well <laughs> on that front. Uh, yeah, I got, I got really lucky that they fell into that tub and they're not running around the national forest. Uh, also last night I did some chicken shuffling. Uh, I grabbed, I think, four more boys out of the ankle biters and put them in the fraternity boys flock. And then I put a bunch of the olivegers that were back there over here into the black copper marons flock. And so that left me eight uh, chickens, uh, eight young ankle biters. They're almost, uh, they're just now four months old. Just now four months old. They're not fully grown yet. They're still getting there. Um, but I, have, I left them in there. I'm gonna move them to the other coop in this, uh, in this fenced in area. And uh, then their coop will be empty, but I didn't have the energy to do that last night. So I can do that, I can do that tonight. Um, yeah, I uh, can't think of anything else. Might be doing a live show live tonight with Dogman. A live show tonight <laughs> with Dogman. Well, I'm skipping my nap, so I might be a little delirious if we uh, if we do it. Um, can't think of anything else. Short day. I'm gonna go rest and do some editing until Mike gets here later, perhaps. And if not, that's cool with me. I'll just go to bed early. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Take it easy, everybody.